since 1948, it is operated as a regional museum. The Church of St. Mary of the Graces, also known as Terra Santa, is the Church of the Franciscans in Larnaca. The Latin architect and Franciscan monk Serafina da Rocascalima was inspired in 1848 by the architecture of the churches in southern Italy. The church has the shape of a Latin cross and is known for its hand-painted works. It is worth mentioning that the Church of St. Mary of the Graces stands out for its superb acoustics hosting a number of concerts every year. In the same area is the old age home Villa Regina Passis, providing care to elderly people. In 1844, the Sisters of the Order of St. Joseph of the Migrant from France arrived in Larnaca after the invitation of Paolo Brunoni, the Catholic bishop at the time. They operated the first hospital with Dr. Joseph Irene Faublanc and cured patients during the typhoid epidemic. The nuns later built the school and the monastery of St. Joseph. Right outside the monastery, the city of Larnaca built a small monument in remembrance of Sophie Chambon, a nun who died of typhoid. Limassol We have arrived at the city of Limassol, with the first stop being the Church of St. Catherine. The church is located at the seaside and was built around 1872 by the priest and architect Francesco da Monghidoro in a Baroque style. A little later, the arches were decorated with Byzantine murals. It is said that beneath the church of St. Catherine there was another church which was destroyed through the centuries and the current one was built as we see it now. Behind the church, the St. Francis for Refuge was set up to offer a protected area for foreign workers with assembly areas for their activities. On Sundays, a large number of them gathers here. The charity organization of the Benevolent Society St. Catherine also operates and offers social work. The city's medieval castle was probably built by Guy de Lusignan in 1193 and was then handed to the Templars. It is said that later, the Genovese conquered the castle, and in spite of all the damages the castle went through, they resisted the attack of the Mamelukes. After the Venetians, it was conquered by the Ottomans with the conquest of Cyprus.
It is said that here, the King of England, Richard the Lionheart, married Berengaria, the Princess of Navarre. Since 1987, it is operated as a medieval museum. The School of St. Mary was founded in 1922 by the Franciscan Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, an order of Franciscan sisters. The school aims to contribute to education, starting with two kindergartens, an English-speaking and a Greek-speaking. Through seventh grade of its secondary school, offers a complete education with a significant emphasis on learning foreign languages. Here as well, children attend regardless of their religion. At the school, there is also the chapel of Santa Maria. The imposing Colossi Castle was granted to the Lusignans after the conquest by Richard the Lionheart and remained in their hands for almost three centuries, from 1192 until 1489. Richard developed the fertile area around the castle, helping its financial and trading growth, producing wines and especially Comandoria, which was named after the vines cultivated there. In the same area, there are also the ruins of the sugar factory. The castle today is under the care of the Department of Antiquities. Paphos. Our next stop is Paphos. And the picture leads to the pretty and small castle of Paphos at the west part of the port. It basically consists of two medieval towers built after 1222, which later on were modified by the Genovese. At the beginning of the 16th century, they were rebuilt by the Venetians. In 1935, it was declared an ancient monument and belongs to the Department of Antiquities. Further down, we find the ruins of the Franciscan Church. In 1210 AD, the Franciscan priests came to Cyprus and built a large monastery next to the column where St. Paul was tied and whipped. The monastery was destroyed by earthquakes. Each year on June 29th, the name day of St. Paul and St. Peter, a Mass is performed here in the presence of Latin Catholic bishops and Catholics of Paphos. <laughs> 